You are now listening to The Forefront Radio, where we discuss history, the Bible, the history of the Israelites, science, and other matters. Bring it out. The history of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as it relates to the Bible. Who were you prior to slavery? Who were you prior to colonization? These answers and more can be seen and heard as you listen to The Forefront Radio. Thank you for tuning in to the Forefront Radio. I'm your host, Afiel Levi Israel. Now, if you're interested in helping us promote our brand, please feel free to donate to our cash app. Our cash app is uh, dollar sign Afiel Levi. That's A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I. And that'll go directly to the Forefront Radio so we can produce more incredible shows for you to listen to. Now, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download this free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Thank you. We have to understand something. How can you talk about freedom and justice for all when you were brought under the banner of servitude? How can you talk about freedom and justice for all when you were brought in shackles and chains with yokes about your neck? The Bible says that the children of Israel will be scattered into all nations under the banner of slavery. This was a global slave trade. Luke chapter 21 verse 21 through 24 says you're going to fall by the edge of the sword and you're going to be led away captive into all nations. So the question for the critical thinker is this. Who did that happen to? Did that happen to the Chinese? No. Did that happen to the Arab? No. Did that happen to the European? No. Did that happen to the people that call themselves Jewish? No. What race of mankind on the earth was taken into captivity into all nations? You think this global slave trade would be not documented in the greatest history book known to mankind? You're looking at the Bible and you don't realize that it's talking about you. Yes, you. The people that are impacted by slavery and colonialism. The people that were taken to America, taken to the Caribbean islands, taken to France, Portugal, taken to Spain as slaves. The Bible says that the, the gospel, the gospel of the Jesus Christ that we know of is a black man that came to set liberty to the captives. That's Isaiah 61, verse 1. Who needs saving? Who needs liberty? Does the French need liberty? Does America need liberty? Who is oppressed? Who is getting brutalized in the streets? Who is getting gunned down when you know, categorically and statistically, they committed no crime? You're being persecuted over a traffic violation. You're being murdered and slaughtered. Ask Sandra Bland, was she free? Ask Trayvon Martin, was he free? Ask George Floyd. A lot of people talk about that they're woke. You're fake woke. The scripture says, awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness, awake to who you are. Who were you prior to slavery? Who were you prior to colonization? These answers and more can be seen as we listen to the Forefront Radio, where you will find out the truth in regards to your true nationality. Yes, when you read about the Bible, when it says, my skin is black, it's talking about you. When you read Song of Solomon, when it says, look not upon me because I am black, it's talking about you. When it comes to the greatest men that walked on the face of the earth, Jesus the Christ died a black man's death, died through crucifixion, lynched on a tree, hair like wool, feet like brass burned in a furnace. Who could this be talking about? This is talking about you, your people, the lost tribes of Israel.
You were listening to the Forefront Radio. Thanks for listening in. We're going to tune to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 and verse 8. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. So according to the scriptures, we are going to reveal to you who the wicked is, according to the Bible, their system of governance, and how they operate in this world. The next scripture we're going to look at is Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who's that? whoever is controlling the earth right now, that's who the wicked is according to the Bible. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if it's not those that are in power today, who is he? Who's controlling the Vatican? Who's controlling the United States of America? Who's controlling Europe? Who's controlling the United Nations? According to the Bible, that is the wicked. And let's check out this history real quick. While the world powers are creating all manner of chaos, all manner of evil upon the earth, the God of creation has decided to sprinkle a little bit of plagues on them, allow them to see that they can't get away with vast amounts of injustice. All the evil, all the uh, wickedness that they have done, the chickens have come to roost. I have a clip here from our uh, great website called The Tick of Tox, called TikTok, where a young lady describes some of the strange occurrences happening on the planet. Will the nations of the world change? Will they repent after all the manner of plagues happening on the earth? Let's find out. Yeah, I got to start watching the world news because like this article says, alarm bells are going off across the world, but we're barely listening. Y'all barely listening. I'm listening. Ex Even though China said that they can manipulate the weather, why has China had 70 straight days of drought? Why right next door in Pakistan, they had a downpour of biblical proportions that killed 900 people so far and took away 100,000 homes? Why is India suffering 200 straight days of a heat wave? Why South Korea have rainfall so extreme that over 50 cities went under the water? Why in America is Texas or Dallas, Mississippi, Kentucky, um, Kansas, why the fuck they all flooding? Why are all the diseases being found in water? Why the fuck did 10 tons of fucking fish wash up on shore in the river between that separates Germany and Poland? But for some reason, they can't figure out what was the cause of death for these fish. So all they're saying is, oh, just don't go fishing here. What? Why the fuck is China still trying to intimidate motherfuckers? They are trying to in intimidate. Pardon the language. If you got kids, sorry. This is not for kids. I should have said that earlier. <laughs> Mind the profanity. Us when Nancy went over there to Taiwan. Now they're doing the same thing to Canada. Don't bring your ass over here or it's gonna get, we're gonna get down. They didn't do nothing to us so far that we know of, but Canada's still about to go anyway. Why the fuck they can't do a Zoom call is beyond me. Why the fuck in Brandon, Mississippi, did uh, a train it rain so bad that a train full of carbon dioxide derailed? Why is it that Russia and Ukraine are fighting, playing fucking tag at the fucking nuclear plant? To where once shit hits the fan and they do whatever and something happens and this nuclear plant goes boom, whatever the hell is going to do, where the fuck? What do you mean? Like Chernobyl or something type of situation? Like Hiroshima and Nagasaki type of situation? If y'all don't see what's going on in the world, these people are, are, are crazy, man. They're going to war near a nuclear power plant. A nuclear power plant, y'all. Where are you, Ukraine people going? 
I guess they're coming over here to America, right? Because we're the ones that's giving them billions of dollars to fund their war. And what the fuck is the New York City mayor making PSAs telling y'all uh, about get ready for a nuclear attack and drink the water? Drink the motherfucking water? Where all the diseases coming from? Didn't y'all just find polio in y'all water? So not only did they have a nuclear report, I remember covering this in a brief uh, story. Uh, if you have an opportunity, go back to my video that I made about the monkeypox and the uh, last plagues on the earth. They said in that video during the PSA, just in case if a nuclear event happens, don't worry about it. Just run to your bathroom and hide in the tub. Yeah. The tub. The tub. And he making a PSA tell y'all to drink it? Y'all better have filters on y'all water by now. I mean, come the fuck on. Everybody in America should have a filter on their water. Everybody in the world should have a filter on their fucking water by now. Filters do not filter out bacteria. Sorry. Lord help us. Lord help us. The intelligence levels of human beings. Please, God, God, please come back. And then we got to sit back and wonder, why the fuck we ain't had no hurricane this year? Are they really manipulating the weather? And if so, why are they manipulating the weather in this capacity to where they're trying to cause more harm than good? Why are they talking about putting bubbles around the motherfucking sun? Why are they talking about creating embryos just using our blood, don't need no sperm, don't need no womb, don't need no egg. Oh, and by the way, here's the heavy hitter. Your boy Donald Trump, uh, former president, was the one that prompted the intelligence of the state to know about the exhibition of UFO quote-unquote technologies that exist today. Yet they want to create a quote-unquote space force to go against Christ and the angels. Last time I checked, the movies, the books, the sci-fi, they always say that so-called aliens are the bad guy. But when you read the Bible, the book of Revelation talks about Christ and his angels coming down from heaven. Things that make you go, hmm... You really can't make this stuff up. Thanks for listening to the Forefront Radio. Please keep tuning in and subscribing. We appreciate the love. Tune in to the Forefront Radio. www.anchor.fm slash the Forefront. Listen every week on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, and many other platforms. Hey, my friend. You have just listened to The Forefront Radio. Please leave your comment and input about the show, what you like about the show, as well as any general feedback on ways to improve. We need your help to acquire new equipment to implement studio quality video and audio to our friends. Contribute as little as $4.99. It's only worth a cup of coffee. Musical then we can produce documentaries, more episodes, and great info for the diaspora. Go to Cash App and enter A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I to donate to the Forefront Radio to cover our advertising costs and reach more people. Catch our next episode on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, anchor.fm slash the forefront. Always remember, the truth shall liberate the mind. Peace to the heirs of promise and the heritage of the scattered 12 tribes. Hey, my friend, you have just listened to the Forefront Radio. Please leave your comment and input about the show, what you like about the show, as well as any general feedback on ways to improve. We need your help to acquire new equipment to implement studio quality video and audio to our friends. Contribute as little as $4.99. It's only worth a cup of coffee. Music then we can produce documentaries, more episodes, and great info for the diaspora. 
Go to Cash App and enter A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I to donate to the Forefront Radio to cover our advertising costs and reach more people. Catch our next episode on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, anchor.fm slash the forefront. Always remember, the truth shall liberate the mind. Peace to the heirs of promise and the heritage of the scattered 12 tribes.